Hi, y'all. I guess if you're tuning in, you already know that this is larger than that. So, <clears throat> today is February 7th. It's my dad's birthday. He transitioned last year, <clears throat> right before his birthday. This is the spirituality board, the Shomo board that's about reconnecting, renewing, and rejuvenating spiritually something deeper like getting on another level and so spiritually on another level this one <clears throat> called me this morning i reached out to her whatever i might have texted her and she called me and in the conversation she says uh what are you doing today and i said nothing she's like I'm, I'm on my way up i'm jumping in the tub and i'm on my way up. i'm like well hurry up hurry up we can bake some cookies and uh do some work because she's really a producer so she is um real good at helping me put together and organize my thoughts <clears throat> and when i hung up from her while i was talking to her my uncle called and so then i called my uncle back and i called my uncle back to find out that his baby brother, my uncle, that's like my brother, killed himself this morning on my dad's birthday, on his big brother's birthday. So I didn't tell her, I didn't call her and tell her because I wanted her to come because I was here alone with the baby and I wanted her to come. I wanted to talk, I guess, I think, I know, you know. So after I got off with my uncle, I called my mom, who's not related to him, but she's known him all her life, Watch all his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she met my dad when they were like 17, eight, they were 17. She's known him forever. So, and my uncle, yeah, he was like a little bitty boy, might have been five or something. You like guys are 12 years man. apart. Yeah, something like that. Like, I don't know how old I am, but so let's not talk about, okay. let's not ruin this and make this real depressing. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> so he's close to you in age, so you're more like brother he and is. sister. He is. We're definitely more like brother That's and sister. He I used to, about. okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, please get to the point because I'm already sad. <laughs> you know <laughs> no. what I'm saying? No, because like, uh, you're close in age, so you have a real, a different connection. You have a uncle. real bond. He's your brother. Like, I, um, my mother and father were young parents, and so I, and my grandmother raised me a great deal of my young life, and I lived with her, and she had a small house and two twin beds, and one was mine and one was his, you know, so that was like all through high school and everything, um, I shared a space with him, you know, um, I go around my my mama's about the grandma, but I mean my uncle was that was my boy, you know. He helped teach me how to drive. Yeah. He uh that was my boy. Like I don't think anybody that's friends with me, that's been friends with me, doesn't know him. Everybody knows him because every one of my friends I called, they were like, What? Oh my god, and if it was old friends from high school. I mean, he was our boy because he had the car and he, oh, okay. Cause he would pick us up, drop us off. And oh. I want to say, check on people. He killed himself because he couldn't fight his demons, whatever they were. Depression is really like real and depression is really real uh, in my family. And so we got to check on people. We got to call and see about them. We got to sometimes just go bring a bottle of banana rum. A banana Bacardi. Banana Bacardi and hang out. You know, she did and she made this amazing chocolate drink. She took some chocolate syrup. She made like a banana split. Yes. Banana I split. Yes. Yes. I yes. needed it. I needed yeah, a banana yeah. split. We call it the Arnold. Yes. Oh.